Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And those are the starting lineups. Never Lots of interesting matchups tonight. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. Coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. Thank you, Kevin. Michael Porter Jr. fell to 14th in the 2018 draft. Well, he's got the right coach, and he is a terrific young talent. That's a pretty good match. David, thank you. Now let's take a look at Denver's opening lineup. The wing set for them, Barton and Porter. Gordon and Jokic hold down the post for him. And it's Morris in a point. And for Los Angeles, the guard spot filled by Jackson and George. Baca is out there with Marcus Morris. And it's Zubac in at the five, roaming the paint. Right now, both these sides dealing with injuries. We won't be seeing either of them, Clark, at 100%. Yeah, and that's unfortunate, Kevin, but I give their credit to, I give their coaches a lot of credit for plugging the holes effectively to this point. And if Baca spins it in. And the ability to generate points off offensive rebounds, something that Baca did a lot earlier in his career before he started spending so much time on the perimeter. Morris kicks the quarter. Denver passing it around. Barton against George. Shoots over Barton. They grab their own miss. Zubac the pass to Jackson. George looking around. Five on the clock. A putback. Pretty positioning on the putback. And when you have a big man like Ibaka, who has the athleticism to get to the ball and convert on the putback LA like that, foul. that's a luxury. That's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. First personal foul. That is his first, first foul of the game. We play just over a minute here in the first. Pass to Jokic. Over Jackson. Plenty of room around him, and it's Jokic. good. You know, in the paint, Jokic is dominant because he can hurt you with the pass or with his scoring ability, and he knows how to position and assert himself in the paint area. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. 131 left to play here in the first. Outside quarter. Kicks it out to Gordon. Fires from deep. Rebound by the Clippers. Outside, George. Passes it to Ibaka. The shot's good on the assist by George. Ibaka's got six points. You know, after averaging just one assist per game as a rookie, George has really upgraded his passing game. 102 left to play in the first. Barton outside. Up Morris, guarded by Jackson. And that's two Rookie fouls for him this quarter. A third would be a problem. Second team foul. You know, Clark, there's a patience to Morris's game that gives this team Monty confidence. Morris. Yeah, and I Two like shot. it too, Kevin. I mean, he makes really excellent reads and never seems to be in a hurry or playing outside of himself. And he can orchestrate with the best of them. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Zubox. Luke Kennard comes in for Marcus Morris. And Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Reggie Jackson. And then for Denver, Green is checked in for Jokic. Green comes in for Aaron Gordon. 
Composite is subbed in for Robart. Outside, George. Back to Bledsoe. And a miss there on the triple. It's been a slow start here for Denver. Trailing by four. 23 seconds left in the first. Here's Porter. And he drops in the layup Michael off the boat. Well, you know, on the inside, Porter is a very skilled player. He understands that you've got to be multidimensional, a lot of versatility to your game to be effective inside. Pulls up. The shot by George, no good. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Clippers lead by two. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of the spring. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. You guys, what's your chance for the Clippers so far? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. Hartenstein is out there with Marcus Morris. Then there's Bledsoe. Then it's Paul George. And it's Kennard in at the three spot. They're the group out there for the Clippers starting the second quarter. And here's George for three. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. Ball. Boy, that looked like a and failure to communicate. Players. You hate unforced errors. A different look for the Clippers. Batum. Batum comes in for Marcus Morris. Man subbed in for George. Here's Rivers. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. Foul and it's been the wonderful to watch Rivers Mr. develop Porter into a veteran leader. That's and he understands his foul. role is evolving. First two the foul. need to set an example for younger players. For that said, he still plays a huge chip on his shoulder. Hey, you've got a unique view of the league, not just a former player, but great broadcaster, courtside all these games, but also as a father. What's that journey been like? It's been surreal, Kevin. You know, anytime you have a child that has a passion for something you're passionate about, it creates a special bond. And to be able to watch him live out his journey has been incredible. And what a blessing. I would wish we'd all get to have that experience in some capacity. And, you know, we can't measure heart. I mean, he's not as big as the other power forwards, but his jumping ability and mindset Two minutes is incredible. Kennard shot it off. That's one he knows he should have drained. Pass to Green. Campazzo guarded by Bledsoe. The pass to Rivers. Five to shoot. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. The Clippers in the lead. Kennard, the pass to Hartenstein. A good finish at the rack. Oh, yeah. the and really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. All right. And Denver is on the team. Let's talk about here. Kevin got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank right, you, Kevin. Well, the Nuggets win healthy for one of the major league teams. Aaron Gordon says we have championship aspirations. When you've got the Joker, you have a chance to win every single night. If we play our best, we have a good chance to go as far as we want to. Guys, I just want to go as far as throwing it back to you. You can throw it to us anytime. And he is the defending MVP and plenty of players around Jokic. David, thanks. They are for real. Here's Jackson. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And good to see Jackson finish closer in. Not a guard who just chucks up threes. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. Also, guys, has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. 
Zubats is checked in for Hardenstein. Pocket comes in for Nicholas Batum. And Marcus Morris subbed in for Terrence Mann. Here's Morris, and Morris throws it down. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. And the rebound battle Foul split four. evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just third, one more foul. aspect of what's First been a very foul. closely contested ball game here. To the paint. Here's Gordon. And he uses the glass on the lane. Gordon. Gordon's got his first points of the game. Well, you've got to give Gordon the ball when he's down inside. I mean, he can really score it in there. Here's Zubats. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And a close game so far for the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Clippers ahead. They lead by one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. A pretty close game for the Clippers throughout the first quarter. And in one stretch there, they were up by six. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. Kenny, what'd you think about the Clippers? This is what the home fan loves to see. Their squad coming out and putting together strong performance. We'll see a couple individual standouts, but what really stand out is how hard they work and how they're playing together. And big fella, let's get your thoughts. We've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Without question, Serge Ibaka displaying his skills today. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. So out there for the Nuggets right now. Gordon and Jokic hold down the post for him. The wing set for them, Barton and Gordon. And it's Morris in at the point. And it's blocked by Gordon. At the defensive end, Gordon is very accomplished. I mean, he gets off the ground quickly and is an excellent shot blocker as a result. Jokic finds Gordon. Porter in the corner. A miss that time. Would have put him up. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. Hold for their first three attempts. And with Aaron Gordon, we knew about his high-flying acrobatics. But at his age, still seeking more consistency given his talent. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Pass to Jokic. For the lead. Good work defensively by Ibaka. That's a big donut, folks, here. Start the second half. Four straight. They've missed. Jackson against Gordon. It's George on the wing. Shot clock at six. And again, no good by the Clippers. Greg, there's no question Gordon has game, especially remembering some of those dunk contests he was in. An impressive athlete, no doubt. And his outside shot has improved. Now he's got to concentrate on scoring for his team. Outside the arc, Porter pulls it in. Frozen. Guys, just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. Paul George has taken some heat in recent years. He says people get so caught up in what other people think. I'm Paul George. I don't 
care to be Thank anybody you. else. Thank I am who I am. You love it or you don't. Simple as that. Guys, with this player on the floor, he has answered all of his critics. He is certainly playing at an elite level. EA, thank you. On the wing, Gordon. Now here's Barton. He's guarded close. But a shot that time, not on target. It's tipped. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. That's his first it's going to be on Jokic. First well, when you shoot it as good as Paul George shoots it, it's hard to stay down on his shot fake. Strike, Paul George. It's really remarkable Two how shots. he gets defenders to bite on it more times than not. He's off on the first. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Hartenstein's checked in for Zubats. Batum comes in for Serge Ibaka. Mann's checked in for Marcus Morris. And Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Big group substitution here for Denver. Jermichael Green is checked in for Jokic. Wayne comes in for Aaron Gordon. Rivers is checked in for Barton. Composos subbed in for Morris. Green against George. And Batum kicks to George. Floats one. And that one is off. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Clippers lead by four. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So with George on the bench, here's who Teron Lewis going with. Kennard is out there at Bloods. And there's Batum, and it's man in the first spot. The recoil. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Ludzo passes to man. Batum against Green. Good on the three. And no good that time. Now Denver takes it the other way. Outside, Porter. On the wing, Green. Latrey. Great tee that time from Batum. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. Two minutes from the Passes to man. Two minutes. Over Rivers. And they call over the back here. As it was to get to the ball that just wasn't a smart foul and the clippers with a whole new lineup now and then for denver porter aaron gordon is checking in for green will barton comes in for rivers and monte morris subbed in for composo it's george on the wing by green they get it again nice passing here by los angeles Here's George, and George with the stop. Hey, you got a player like George, and in these moments, you turn to him. He knows how to deliver in the clutch. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Denver Nuggets. Four-point game. And that will be two free throws coming. And here we go. The coach's challenge has been initiated. To now be the crucial foul in question. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, those fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay 
reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able to challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined Greg to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Clippers with the ball. 109 left in the fourth quarter. George against Gordon. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. You know, I really applaud Paul George's mental fortitude. I saw him come into the league as a rookie with the Pacers in 2010, and his growth has been remarkable. He's always been able to look past his setbacks and jab from the critics to continue to stay focused on being the best player he can be, and he's one of the very best in the league. Jokic, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And no good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. On the left side, down low, here's Jokic. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Back to Jackson. Ibaka. It's in! And it's nothing but bodies for Ibaka. Denver calls timeout. They're down by four. 36 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Sir Ibaka. And in terms of this year, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been a constant motion a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made That's his first everything. Personal foul. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys, will Mike Malone talk to his team during that last time out? We've got to make the most of every chance right now. This is a winnable game, but we've got to make plays. Guys, we'll see if we can come back. Thank you, David. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Perfectly done at the strike. Yeah, that brings their lead up to an even more comfortable level. Time call They're trailing by six. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. We've got 28 seconds left in the game. Here's Jackson. And he commits the intentional foul. Nikola Jokic. That's his second personal foul. Third team foul. First free throw is good, and, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Ray Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. Uh, a speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Reggie Jackson. Really no idea his why you're fouling in a situation First like that. Fight. You know, maybe there's some bad blood. That's a to the yeah, but that's no excuse for that for kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's foul. just not Thank a good play. You. And so they choose that's to intentionally foul. foul. Fourth team foul. At the line for so your the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Free. You know, one of the things I'd like to see Bledsoe improve on is his passing. Other than that, I think his overall game is pretty solid. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save him tonight. Not by a long shot. It's all but official. Now, here's George. Shoots over Barton. It drops. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. Some good 